Economides, New York Times best-selling author of America's Cheapest Family Gets You Right on the Money and publishers of the MoneySmartFamily.com website and we're going to talk today about making homemade pine cone fire starters. So the first place to start when you're making pine cone fire starters is to gather wax. And as you can see from the table, we have wax from all different sources. Old candles, uh, at one point we had a small thrift store that we liked to frequent and they knew I was doing this project and so they saved me a whole bunch of old candles that came in that they didn't think they could sell and they kind of put them all together in a box and made me a screaming price for all the wax. Um, in here is different scents that we have collected over the years on clearance at some of the craft stores and people just gave them to me and so we're going to dump some of these scents in as we make the pine cone fire stars and they're going to smell real good. One of the other sources of candle wax is old candles. You're going to you're going to save those containers that they come in and then I'm going to show you in a few minutes how you can get the wax out pretty painlessly to use for your pine cone fire starters. And here you'll see boxes of crayons. Once again, they were bought at back to school time, so they were maybe five cents a box or less. I've already used up all of the old crayons from when my kids were little, but this is a great project to get your kids involved in because they can peel all of the crayons and put them in bowls by color and they really enjoy the job and then you use the crayons to add color wherever needed as you're melting the wax for the pine cone fire starters. An electric hot pad is a fabulous tool for melting old candle wax inside of jars. So here's one that's not melted but the wick ran out and we want to melt the wax in this. Here's one that is just about done being melted and we're going to pour that into our cans on the stove to use up the wax and then we can clean this jar and use it for other things. Here I am melting the wax on the stove. I think this is a number 10 can and I've got melted wax in there already and I'm adding some green and I'm even going to add some white because the green's real dark and I can make it a little lighter by adding this stub of a candle and over here I have the brown wax and this is sort of a, a mishmash of wax and basically I make pine cone fire starters out of this and it goes on the bottom of the basket so this is not usually the stuff that's seen but it still is works just like all the other pine cone fire starters and it's it lines the bottom of the baskets okay so the pine cone fire starters are ready for dipping when I first brought the can to the table, it was at a, like 175 degrees, and I've slowly cooled it down, so now it's about 125, and it's still not at its absolute peak yet, but I don't want to wait. So I'm doing the first dip, and I may go back and do a second dip, but it's sticking enough to at least get the first dip. Okay, so this is the final step in our pine cone baskets. I dipped over 200 pine cones using wax that I collected so I didn't have to buy any of that. And now I'm gonna wrap them up in cellophane. And this is what you can do to either give as gifts or for me, I'm gonna take them to the craft fair. And there's a little trick to it. You've gotta kinda of pleat them as you gather them up. And use, uh, first I use a twisty tie. See right here, it's going to stick out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to roll it on the inside. Same over here. Roll it to the inside. Okay, now I'm going to grab a twisty tie and wrap it around. Pinch it tight. And then I'm going to use uh, pieces of ribbon that are recycled but are very pretty. 
and I'm going to make a bow around the basket. There you have it. Isn't it pretty? So much fun.